Kind of an interesting car that kind of evokes the, uh, the, the classic Cadillacs and Packers of the 1930s. It's, it's uh, sort of a dual cowl Phaeton car. In other words, it's got two separate compartments, two different windshields for the front and the back. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And television sets in the television. I know you're a radio guy, really, but television <laughs> set for the front, television set for the rear. Uh, something you'd probably love. You can uh, talk on the telephone because uh, the, the, the receiver, the telephone thing, is in the center of the steering wheel. And you, know, you can do your hands off. You can talk while you're, while you're driving along. They, they they do all these concept cars, and we all go by and say, oh, my gosh, look at that. But they never really market them. Wonder why, what would happen if they offered that particular car for sale? I, I think there'd probably be a fairly good line of buyers, but only in Southern California. But yeah. It never rains because the thing's got no top. You know, it's got no top. You'd have to carry umbrellas with you. Some, you of these, some of these things that they try in concept cars really do show up, though, down the line a few years, don't they? You know, one of the reasons they have these cars at the show is you're exactly right. They, they, they test crowd reaction to a lot of features of these dream cars, whereas the dream car cars themselves, or the concept cars, if you will, will never be produced. A lot of the features from the cars will actually be put on production models. Andy, thank you. Let's